Here's an update on what I've been doing with my C-band satellite dishes. This dish is a 10-foot Channel Master mesh dish, and this one's nice and easy to tune. It has these four arms or struts that support the L and B out at the front of the dish, and that keeps it focused on the focal point of the dish nicely. Very easy to tune. I just got this one tuned into SES 18 at orbital slot 103 west. There's some TV channels in the clear on there. And this one here is an Orbitron dish and it's different from the Channel Master because it only has this single arm that holds the LNB. This arm is known as a button hook. It's a lot more difficult to tune this dish though. The interesting thing about this dish is that it has this feature called a spin clination. And here at the mount, the dish actually fits into this collar and you have to spin the dish. This, this star-shaped clamp here is angled and it actually adjusts the declination of the dish by you spinning it and it changes the angle of the declination. A declination angle is like an offset angle to account for your geographic location and adjusting it correctly is needed if you're going to track the satellite arc. Now I don't have a motor on this dish so I don't use it to track the entire arc. I just set it up manually but it's just too tricky to set this thing up. It's uh, really awkward. So I'm gonna take it down and put up another channel master with the uh, four arms. And that will be a lot easier to set up than this old Orbitron. Still got the sticker on the back too. I think this was probably made in the late 80s or early 90s. It's a very heavy mount, that's for sure. But it's just too awkward to set up. Adjusting the declination angle is necessary whenever you're setting up a motorized satellite dish, whether it's a big one like this or a small KU band one like this. This uh, Channel Master dish actually has a bolt on the back that you just move back and forth to set your declination angle much easier than the spin clination action of the Orbitron. Now, interestingly enough, this button hook arm here actually had four cables that went out to the edges of the dish with little turnbuckles on them and you have to tighten and loosen those to adjust this button hook so that it's exactly in the center of the dish aimed at the focal point but uh, i took those off years ago and didn't really bother with them i think i still have them somewhere but this dish is uh, cool but it's just really tricky to set up properly it's always seemed to be slightly off whenever I tune it to a satellite. So this one's coming down. Here it is in various stages of disassembly. First, the button hook comes off and then the dish itself. That was a three person job to get it down. Now these dishes might look really heavy, but they're actually not, they're all aluminum. So they're lightweight. They're just awkward because the weight is spread over such a large surface area. You can see I've got the uh, bag of garden soil and pallet there as a little cushion to get that down without bumping it and denting it. And then the mount is left and that just comes off of the pole and that's it. And I'll put another one of this type of dish up and that should make things a little easier.